All right, this video is for a Nikki Carb off of an Onan engine with an accelerator pump. There. With three screws. And when you take it off, it would have this. And the spring and it would have this which is the part that actually goes bad anything that's plastic ish or whatever you know goes bad from the fuel that we have to deal with and then that clip holds it in place so what i did is I soaked this carb first and these jets were all out so that's a different topic but those were removed the main jet is down at the bottom which is behind the big bolt that would be here and that's the main jet there but we're not really here to talk about that we we're talking about installing this part number and you see that says genuine Onan. If it doesn't say genuine Onan or Cummins, then, uh, you know, why even watch the video? Because you're putting Chinese parts into a well-made carb. Now I use protection. Glove works. 8 millimeter, Which are about, that's about as thin as you can go. The fives and sixes can say they're as tough as they want, but they are not tough, and you will not enjoy using them. Here is the Berryman's Chem Dip. Around me, the only place that I could walk in and buy it was O'Reilly's Auto, and it was $30, so that's what I bought. So anyway... As you can see, there's a small hole here, and that hole goes directly into the bowl. So obviously that needs to be cleaned. This one's a big hole. You can see the straw goes straight through. Uh, that would need to be cleaned. And this hole goes into that hole. And this stuff you can see when you look at the casting. You know, this is your screw hole, so that obviously goes nowhere. So this lines up with that. And then there's one other hole, which is this hole. And it goes straight out. You know, it, it, an accelerator pump is an extra boost of fuel. So obviously it has to spray in there. So when this accelerator pump works right, what you're seeing is the bottom of the carb. But as you can see, it sprays through there. So now say if you're not doing the chem dip and you're just using the, the brake, or not the brake cleaner, but the carb cleaner. You know, little squirts like this, they clean it partially but it's not like the stuff dissolves instantly so it takes a lot of spray through a hole to make sure it's clean because you can get it partially clean but that means that your carb is partially repaired right so you need it totally clean and that's why i do the chem dip the chem dip uh has time to eat it everything and then the spray when i spray it through that hole gives me you know it gives me the uh, visual cue that you know we're in we're in good shape so this is showing me that I got a nice straight spray pattern what that did is it went through all the operations of the inter internal parts of this accelerator pump and then goes through that hole, which goes through that hole.
So when you get the kit, comes with parts. Some of them are the parts you have to have and some are just parts. I think they want to try to make a $30 sale as much as they can get close to anyway. Uh, that's your base gasket, which is this gasket. This is your O-ring for the upper part. comes with that, which have nothing to do with an accelerator pump. But I guess they figure if you're going to have the carb off, you should have those, which is a good idea. So anyway, you get all these parts. You get new screws. And you get... The two parts you don't need are these because this is where that goes. And that just doesn't, it won't just come out. So it's kind of one of those things you just, if you can't replace it, then don't. And uh, so for me, it's a don't. And if you want to know where all that goes, you, you marry the top to the the to the base of the carb again and you can see where that goes it goes in this hole and the way that goes is like a seat is that yeah so you have to get the spring on There, now the spring is on that little ball. So all you have to do is drop that down in the hole and that part of it's done. But we have to leave it out for now because we have to replace the little plastic flapper thing. So to place that, you just put it back in the hole, disentangle the snap ring. This is an any, so you have to, it doesn't balance, you know what I'm saying? Or it just kind of goes around, but you make sure that it's seated once you get it in. And into the snap ring groove, which it didn't just go in, it just now went in when I pushed on it with the screwdriver here. And you can kind of see by the end of the snap rings are into the groove. That part's done, and uh, the spring actually goes on the cover. And then you have to line up your gasket. Again, which only goes one way. The way I do it is I look for the two. Let's get that part out of the way, that part out of the way. So I can get this in the camera. There. I looked for the two close together ones, and uh, those are the two because one is the screw hole and the other is the through hole. How'd you like that for a rhyme? Spring will capture on the cover. So now we're looking for the screw hole and through hole. Again, we got to make sure the spring's in the cup. Okay, so now what did I do here? Oh, there it is. Wrong spot. There is a little bit of tension. So it's, uh, it's something that fights you. Uh, 
barely snug that up because I need to line up two more screws. That one went right in the hole. So we're looking good. Snug that one up. And snug. I can actually tighten this one. So here's the thing on this accelerator pump. You can obviously buy a kit. But where you will not find anything at all is anything in a service manual because when you get to a carb that has the accelerator pump on it, and this is for all Nikki carbs, doesn't matter that it's a uh, Onan even. If it has an accelerator pump on it, their answer when they when you say uh, looking for service. It just says replace. These are carb compliant carburetors. And uh, so they're, I don't know why, but, you know, I didn't sit in on the board meeting that did all this. And the, I'm not an engineer from Nikki because I don't live in Japan because these are made in Japan. But anyway, so I dropped that, that back in there. Um... You know, all this stuff needs to be sparkling clean. There's an actual hole at the bottom of that. And uh, you can spray. See, if you spray fluid into this, it comes out of that tube. But, but the chem dip did all the, the cleaning. But I did have to actually put a pipe cleaner down here because it was so plugged that... Uh, the cleaner wouldn't make it through. So that took a little bit extra. Let me hang the hang the float from the or hang the needle from the float and then line it up to the hole first and then that part can drop in. So I've got the spring loaded check valve, I think maybe we'd call it a check valve in place. We've got the needle in place, float is obviously in place because we just put it there and then we can put the top back on. Now on earlier models, this, this isn't even on the carburetor, you only have this and you don't have that because that's part of the uh and you don't have this hole with the spring because that's all part of the accelerator pump uh, uh, operation so that goes on nice and easy whoop looking for the I couldn't tell you how many times I've put a carb together and then gone, oh yeah, what about the linkage for the choke? There, now the linkage for the choke is on that there's an extra jet right here or an extra hole I should say this is the hole now I remember that's what happens when you do something one day and another other that one tube that I said was plugged in the end if you spray after removing that screw, that would come out of that tube that was uh, into the in the top. So that's your port for cleaning that tube from the inside. And when the top is off and you spray through there, of course you're looking at the spray pattern and it needs to be a nice clean 
spray pattern and then you know it's clean. So as you see in this, as we switch it around, there's your fuel inlet, there's your throttle, and your throttle stop, your accelerator pump, and then you have two plugs. And those two plugs used to be, uh, one would be for the jet and, and the other would be for the uh, adjustment idle adjustment screw, mixture screw. And you know how they do that. The newer it gets, the less screws you have. So they rob us of adjusting the idle mixture even. All because of California. California is the one that leads the way on all this stuff. And... Uh, it's easy. It's just easier for companies to make it 50 state compliant instead of 49 state. And then California, they did do that at, at some instances, but uh, mostly it's it's uh, going to all be carb compliant stuff. Uh, when I change this, this is a, a lot tighter. This one's old, so it it would fall actually off of the cardboard. You can see it just lays there and falls. So it's a good to have that new one on there. And uh, this is an Onan base gasket. So showing me scraping this off and cleaning that isn't really necessary, but I guess I can show off another new tool. I got a right angle. Sun X, right angle die grinder, and these 3M Rolox, they're the bomb. They are just the bomb. This is the white one, which I think is medium. They come, sorry, sorry. They come in different colors, and uh, they're for lots of stuff, but they really... Look at that. Shining. So ready for a new gasket. I love these things. 3M Rolock. I buy 3M brand. Again, because I'm a brand snob. I bought the the Rolock adapter, which tightens into the die grinder. And uh, for me, having one of these, that was just another one of those tools that's like life altering. So there you go. That's how a accelerator pump gets redone with an Onan kit. Uh, $27, I think, is the Onan price everybody sells at list. I think it's like $27. I think I got this one off of eBay, and it was like $34. Because they included shipping for one, but then they probably added a little bit because you, you pay about 10% for being on eBay. Uh, but if you find an, an Onan distributor and local they it should be around 26 bucks for this kit 